Call the Star online segment. We've got Bob Glauber of Newsday and Andrew Brill of ESPN Radio. So, guys, what is going on with this Giants offense and the fact that they can't get anything going and Dallas is really good with time of possession and the Giants are not? So how do they reverse the, the situation? I don't know that they do, Bob. You know, even in 2011, they won the Super Bowl with the 32nd ranked run offense. They, they would try to establish the run. They would be able to just kind of eke out something. The last two games of the season, for some reason, it clicked. Yes, and into the playoffs it clicked. They were able to do that. But they just haven't been able to do it. There's no play-action passing game for Eli Manning. He's hamstrung. He's got a problem with distribution of his passes. The, you know, it's like he's not getting one receiver one week. He's not getting another receiver another week. I don't see a, a light at the end of the tunnel of them a, being able to kind of come out of it. Andrew, your take on this. this? This offense has to look itself in the mirror, Bob, and say, look, we need to get better. We need to move the football. We need to get better on third down, which they're about 35%. Dallas gives up about 41% on first, uh, third down. So they need to just move the chains, whether it's short passes, whether it's longer passes. They need to hold on to the ball. I, you know, the, the longer you keep Dallas's offense off the field, the better off you'll be. And with, you know, a little bit of a hole that the Giants' defense has now at defensive end, you need to hang out to the football. And they have to figure out a way to do that it's going to be tough against Dallas who is a second in the league against the run so you, if it's with short passes you go with short passes but they need to get more more people involved they need to get a little more innovative and creative as well you know it's odd because it's pretty much the same offensive line it's pretty much the same running backs and you upgraded the receiver position um, I, I think you would think that having Victor Cruz back and Sterling Shepard is better than Reuben Randall and then uh, Dwayne Harris as the third receiver who he was last year. It's really perplexing that they can't hit more plays down the field. They had over 400 points scored last year. Yeah, and they had, what, seven games of 30 points or more, one of only a handful of teams with more than 400 points. I think they ended up with 420. And they're, they're like a, on a pace of 100 points less this year it, it's just weird I think that the lack of a of an established blocking tight end hurts I think the lack of the ability to use a fullback hurts the running game in particular Sterling Shepard is a terrific young receiver and you've got maybe the most talented receiver in football in Odell Beckham and it's just not working it's become predictable you know they go with that three wide receiver set almost exclusively so there's no surprise there's no there's no element of that surprise you have you, you know you have to mix things up a couple times a couple games ago they went with a jumbo package they were able to run the ball a little better maybe they need to go with that but they need to figure out and Ben McAdoo has to figure out how to change things up a little bit maybe to catch defenses off guard I think that it, the more vanilla you get the more chance the defense has to stop you let's go for your prediction then for Sunday night listen I, I get you know this is one of those no way games it's like no way can the Giants win often you see teams win those kind of games you know turn over here turn over there but I think fundamentally the Cowboys are, are a terrific team they lead the NFL in time of possession it makes their defense better and I, I just think the Giants are, are, are going to have a tough one in this. It's 27-17. I'm going to go the other way. I think that the emotional loss of JPP makes these guys step up a little bit. They're going to want to win one for him. It's going to be a, a tight game. I think it's 24-21. The Giants are going to find a way in this game, as they been, have been this season, just finding a way sometimes to win. Uh, I, you know, I know that that sounds a little far-fetched, but... I think the Giants might find a way in this one. Hey, you never know. A scoop and score helps <laughs> them get to 24. Bob Glauber, Andrew Brill, we appreciate a couple minutes.